Hello everyone and welcome back to Around the World in 80 Planes and X-Plane 11. For this flight it is completely contained in South Korea. We're going from Incheon which is the port city next to Seoul and flying to uh, Gimhae which is in Busan province in the southeast corner of South Korea. So basically we're overflying it on a diagonal and I'm going to be flying in a Beechcraft Bonanza the V-35 which means that this is the V-tail as you can see here and this is the Carinado one so this is a payware one and I got it mainly because there is an available reality expansion pack for it and I haven't gotten that yet because I haven't had enough experience with the Bonanza as it is right now and it's pretty good as it is of course it's payware and uh, it's I mean it is a good cockpit obviously no problems there it's got uh, certain extra functionality over here field of view, change the volume here, and um, some other options down there too. Uh, but for now, we are just going to continue. We are still listening to the Apollo 13 audio. They are in the midst of their crisis and working things out. So I'm going to press play on that if possible. There we go. That seems a little bit loud. Oh, it's just got a lot of static. I'll tone it down a little bit for now. Alright, so here we go. Here we go. Askew. We should be flying the runway heading, obviously, but well, let's take a look around. Don't have a lot of airplanes in this airport, probably not configured properly. Okay, Jim, I got command module 35665. One, six, three, four, two. Three, four, six, six, seven. Aquarius, three zero two two six three four five nine or two zero one one seven eight. Sorry if uh, it occasionally flashes black. That means I'm clicking out of it. Say again, please. Trying something else out this time. back from Aquarius and from Odyssey where from the course alignment of the lunar module guidance system platform. Returning to the uh, alternate mission now being considered the uh, descent propulsion system trans earth injection burn would take place at about 79 hours 30 minutes ground elapsed time reducing an entry at about 142 hours. At this point uh, in the translunar coast, it is cheaper and swifter to coast on around the moon and come back to Earth than it is to do a deep space abort. Continuing to monitor air ground from Apollo 13, this is Apollo Control. I think I'll tone down the sound of it. I sort of trimmed it, uh, but not enough it seems. It's still turning a little bit right. Okay, uh, now it's Houston, about right. Uh, we need a command reset on your, uh, on your comm, and uh, then we'd like you to uh, power down the CMC, power down the IMU. Heaters off on the IMU, but leave your battery A on. Yeah. Odyssey, Houston. 
So again, the city in front of us is Incheon. Seoul is a little bit further inland. And at these speeds, okay, I don't Jim, feel uh, need to have the scenery reset. limiter active. And let's then, see uh, if it is. Yeah, let's just turn power it off. Down the IMU. Turn the IMU heater off. Leave battery A on. Over. Make sure that we're not going to go over speed. Looks like uh, indicated we're looking for. No more than 200, uh, conservatively 170. The distance for the flight is 182 nautical miles. Sublimator powered up. Activation page 20. And activation page 21, step 3. Over. So just to recap, they're powering up the lunar module and powering down the command module. Roger. As quickly as possible because, first of all, they need to power up the lunar module to have life support. And... They need to power down the command module to have power enough for return on the batteries. Because no matter what, they're going to use the command module to come back down. They can't come back down without it. Okay, uh, Jack, we'd like you to turn off your O2 tank 2 heaters and fans. 
correction, uh, tank one. Turn the fans and heaters off. Okay, and Jack, can we turn on the uh, FBI trigger breaker so we can have a ball to see if we're doing the kibble lock or not? Stand by. Uh, he's going he's to give a 16 down 20, Jack. And, uh, okay, got all two heaters and fans off in tank one. Jim, uh, we didn't want you to uh, power down the ball in the land. We're, we wanted you to power down the ball in the uh, CSM. Unfortunately, handling two spacecraft at the same time is a bit complicated. Probably toughest for the Capcom, the capsule communicator, since up there there's basically two guys handling the lunar module and one guy handling the command module, but the capsule communicator is one guy having to relay information for both. Over to the left, you can see Seoul there in the distance. All those tall buildings. Okay, uh, Jack, I got uh, two uh, Commander FBI breakers in AC and DC, and the two Gasta breakers in AC and DC. And uh, next, you want the uh, RCS heaters all on. We'll just pressurize the RCS, and in the main south, uh, open. And I think they're already open. Roger. And uh, Fredo, get the TCA breakers in last, please. All right, Chuck, I'm, uh, I'm holding off on those uh, until you give me a further word anyway. I'm just going to pressurize right now. Uh, Jack, are you already in level uh, couple angles? Okay, Aquarius, uh, I have some gyro torquing angles, and uh, the Odyssey uh, is powered down attitude control-wise, so uh, Lem's got attitude control now.
Aquarius Houston. A reminder, Aquarius is the uh, lunar module, okay. Odyssey is the okay, command uh, module. We want you to know that uh, we got some terrible torquing angles for you. And uh, we want you to tell us when uh, you got attitude control in the lamp. Okay, uh, we're still working on the pressurization. I'm getting Jim on here so he can help out this. Roger. Uh, Odyssey, uh, we'd like you to uh, go direct RCS and uh, hold your present attitude out the window until the uh, LEM gets RCS powered up. Go ahead, Jim. Well, that's my question. Uh, we're not uh, our uh, 1620 doesn't match our eight ball here. We went to FBI's office. We don't have our balls. Uh, when they're powered up, they're maintaining the facility band to get our uh, angles going with the same. Well, I'm basically full Roger, throttle, from, uh, and we're just below the yellow zone. So I'll just keep it full throttle, I suppose. Okay, Jack, I'm right up to uh, where it's master I'm on. Uh, Seems like it remains uh, in the uh, green territory on the RPM. Okay, lots of people talking on the radio there. Okay, 13, uh, you're both talking at once, one at a time, please. Maybe you should have told which one to go first. Okay, who's first? <laughs> Close, uh, logic power A and B, Fred, and yep. pressurize RCS. Okay. Go ahead, Odyssey. Okay, I'm going to try to do the best I can. I've got one attitude reference. I'm going to fly according to the lunar terminator. Roger, Jack. Just uh, maintain attitude. Houston, uh, we'll have to get some AC up so you can get a ball uh, rating. Uh, close your bus tie inverter circuit breakers, all four of them on panel 11. Close your AC bus bolt circuit breaker on panel 11. On panel 16, inverter 2 close. Select inverter 2. Over. I've been completed, Jack. Now. One thing I always notice is the plethora of blue roofs, lots of blue roofing in Korea, perhaps in Asia in general. Make sure we're. Okay, that's yeah, off. Jack, do you want us to proceed right on down the line with the uh, RCS? I'm not seeing a whole lot of the Autogen buildings, right that's all. Maybe we're too high. Stand by, Fred. Okay, Fred, uh, negative on the activation on page 37. 
and we want you your RCS pressurized and then uh, get your TCA breakers in and go to Ping's attitude hold. This is Houston. We want you to load the DAP with 30120. Load the DAP with 30120. Complete. Okay, we need to change that uh, CSM weight. Okay, Aquarius, your CSM weight is 63400. And, uh, Jack, you want to take your call on the left to stay away from your block, over. Affirmative, uh, take control with the limb, uh, Ping's attitude hold. And uh, Odyssey, uh, request you coordinate with Aquarius on uh, attitude control. Okay. Uh, Roger. I gotta see if I can fire these things. At all? Am I firing anything? Aquarius, uh, check, check your Atka Pink Breaker and finally 11 in. Close on finally 11, circuit breaker Atka Pink. Okay, Jim, how's the attitude control? Okay, uh, Jack, we got attitude control now on the, uh, in the lab, we're going to try to uh, rotate up to the belly band. Roger. I'm not getting calm like I got back there. See Houston, I've got a procedure for you. I swear that looks like a very interesting golf course right there on the left. I'm 
know which golf course that is. I assume he gets a golf course. Okay, Jack, uh, what we want you to do is uh, close the reactance valve on fuel cell two. Power down your inverters. Power down your battery relay bus. So that airport in front of us. Battery ties off. And uh, pull your entry Chong circuit Ju. breakers. Entry battery circuit breakers, A, B, and International. C. That is where we are at. Really nice scenery, okay, to be honest. All these hills and valleys makes for good variation. That's affirmative, Jack, and, uh, and then uh, close the reactance valve on fuel cell two. Okay, I can go. Okay, Jack, on fuel cell two, open circuit. Houston, uh, all you have to do is close the reaction valve on fuel cell two. Okay, CP Roger, we copy. Uh, that's where we want to be, Jim. And uh, Jack, have y'all got uh, good lab data down there now? That's affirmative, Fred. We're getting good LEM data. Okay, in that case, I think I'll uh, pull out some uh, display uh, breakers uh, and just let y'all keep an eye on things. Roger. They're turning lights off now, too. So. Stand by one in that, Fred. Watch it. 
Aquarius Houston, uh, stand by and opening your circuit breakers for displays. We're going to let you know what they are, and I have some gyro torquing angles for you. I'd like you to proceed with the final line, and your gyro torque and angles are X plus 0, 0, 3, 3, 0, Y plus 0, 2, 4, 8, 0, Z minus 0, 1, 5, 1, 0. Over. On the map, you can sort of see the south coast. And also where we came from. Okay, Jim, X and Z are correct, and uh, Y is We're about halfway there. Maybe a little bit less than halfway there. I don't know if we've got something okay, for y the location up ahead. We're headed roughly towards Daegu. Roger. But that's not this town up ahead. Unfortunately, the moving map I've got okay, besides the in-game map the has line. all the location names in Korean, so... Can't really read that. It ju this just provides control. supplementary information. Six minutes ground elapsed time. Level and Hayes still powering up the lunar module, getting attitude control, aligning the platform. In preparation for uh, what turns out to be an alternate mission in which no lunar landing will be possible. However, the spacecraft will fly around the moon. At this point in Translunar Coast, it uh, is more economical and propellant and time to continue to coast on around the moon and come back to uh, Earth intersecting uh, trajectory. In about 20 minutes in the Houston News Center, there will be a press conference in the small briefing room. Stand by. Any stars out the lamp window? Roger, uh, as soon as you get a chance to, uh, or in your position to uh, take a look, we'd like to know if you can see stars for alignment purposes. Houston, uh, I think it's on the P-51. We want to stay just like we are, but we'd like to uh, be able to correlate what you're doing with uh, some simulator work we're going to crank up. And so if you can give us information as to what stars you can see out the winter window, uh, we can uh, make that correlation. Right now, all I have is this audio for Apollo 13. But uh, as I understand it, uh, they are going to make an Apollo 13 real-time website with more of the audio from the from yep. the Jim, uh, what we control want center is, for mission uh, control and, uh, and I don't know if they have also the command module tapes or the lunar uh, module tapes to do is to crank up some uh, uh, LMS simulations 
to correlate what we can so there will be a website we like that the to see as if, there uh, was for Apollo 11 so and as there is for Apollo 17 think you can recognize them and recognize constellations uh, please let us know and that will be ready in March I believe they said okay, so we'll, we'll look forward to seeing that because obviously there's a lot going on during this mission as far as uh, within the next 15 minutes or so troubleshooting will be uh, Manned Spacecraft Center Deputy Director Christopher C. Kraft, Jr. Apollo Spacecraft Program Office Manager James A. McDivitt and MSC Director of Flight Operations Sigurd Schoberg. This will be in the small briefing room in the Houston News Center. We'll be isolated from the air ground, which will be continually fed uh, in real time to the News Center. Aquarius Houston, we notice that the O2 pressure in uh, ascent tank O2 is a little high, so we want to use some of it. So uh, close descent O2 and open ascent O2 tank 2. Over. Okay, Jim, uh, if that status changes, uh, please let us know. got some circuit breakers you can open to uh, power down displays. In addition, I have a uh, P-30 maneuver pad. Over. Right, stand by. Get the, uh, get the pad, look. Get the lamp, get the lamp, uh, look. And say, uh, we're getting the pad, look now, Jack, and say the first are powered up. Okay, I have some circuit breakers that you can uh, open up in order to power down displays. Okay, stand by uh, one, Jack. I'm going to get my comp carry on it. All right, Taylor, give me all the limp stuff. Give me the limp stuff right now. Jack, give me all the limp stuff. Control this thing with the 
little cross coupling here. I might as well. Yeah, you are. I think uh, the having the lunar module thrusters weren't really meant to on? maneuver the command and service module as well, and so the balance of it is quite a bit off, and I think they're having to deal with that, and it'll be a constant struggle. Well, There's no avoiding that. Okay, uh, how do you read now, Jack? It's a little bit confusing because there are two jacks. Jack swaggered on board, and I think the PAO is a jack. I forget which jack it is. Okay, you're moving away. I may be wrong about that. Maybe there's just one jack, but I think there's two jacks. Okay, certainly. Fred, I've got six circuit breakers for you. Okay, go ahead. Okay, they're all on panel 11. Row one under AC bus B. Open helium PQGS for propellant display. It's open. It's open. On uh, row two, flight displays. Open thrust. Open mission timer. Open range, range rate, altitude, altitude rate. And open the AC bus A, range rate, altitude, altitude rate. They're open. Okay, they're all open. Okay, and uh, row four pings, signal strength display. It's open. It's open. Okay, that's... Uh, Concludes the power uh, down of displays, and I have a uh, P30 pad for you. Okay, go ahead. Okay. The purpose is a uh, Paracynthian plus two hours dips aboard. Noun 33. Zero seven niner. Two five. Two six four eight plus one six three three zero minus zero zero one four five minus zero seven five one five apogee not applicable perigee is plus zero zero two zero five one seven niner Seven seven eight three five two six eight two six four plus one six four one zero minus zero zero one four five minus zero seven three three eight coas is in a I have uh, two gimbal trim angles for you, which will be updated. Right now, however, we want you to go with pitch 5.86, roll 6.75. Over. What was that for? Pitch and draw, maybe, huh? Okay, uh, what was the last two things you gave me a pitch and uh, roll angle for what? That's for your dips trim. Pitch and yaw. All right, Roger. PDA. Yeah, that's what I mean. Sorry. Paracentian plus two. 
My engine seems to have developed an additional sound. Is that right? Why the hell are we maneuvering at all now? Are we still bent? Well, we're, we're at hole for one thing. I mean, we're at a bit of impulse. No, I mean, why can't you null them out somewhere? I, I, every time I try to, uh, I can't take that dog on roll out. I gotta wait till I get around to the belly band. Wait a minute. I'm just taking a look at this gauge. That's endurance, obviously. And of course, if I change the mixture, it changes that. That's nautical miles per gallon. That seems rather good, doesn't it? You don't? Okay. I'll yeah, that doesn't still. quite make Let's sense. Give us a mission timer. Computer time. Well, All our right, destination is not programmed right right now. Yeah, hold on. Go ahead. Uh, here's the Aquarius. Go ahead, Aquarius. Let's just go with endurance. That's fine. We've got plenty of yeah, endurance. Well, we don't a, uh, I don't think we have a computer clock going, and uh, we'll make sure up like that stuff to us. Roger. So that city that I'm turning towards now is what we saw on the map there. And uh, Fredo, uh, I got uh, some Daegu? sort of breakers on panel 16 for you. Daegu International or Tegu, I don't know. The okay, VOR okay, Vortex is Dao Song. System engineer and cross pointer open. There's a lot of. Under things, but there's this Tegu open. one. Open attempt press display flags. And PQGS displays. Okay, they're both open. Okay, Fred, on uh, row three under COM, open displays, and under ECS, open displays. Okay, COM displays, ECS displays, both open. Okay, and two more in row four under heaters, open displays, and under EPS, open displays. Okay, uh, heaters display, uh, EPS display open. And I've uh, long since uh, had all the lights off, uh, floods, etc. Where are those bags? Uh, where are those? 
Lake you a time uh, because of uh, the IU, and uh, we have a uh, frequency uh, problem there. But what I'd like to do is uh, give you a time to set up on your mission timer and give you a mark, and then you can uh, put it into the disk from there. Over. I'm not sure the Autogen has really okay, figured out the buildings minute, properly here. It seems like it's put trees in a lot of places it should have put buildings. Maybe the shadows are too much in some of them, I think. You can sort of see the buildings at least, or where they ought to be. Aquarius, uh, we need forward Omni. In this neighborhood it seems to have done fine. Okay, turning towards Busan. Okay, Fredo, how do I get the mission timer up? I got the mission timer cranked in. You got it on? I got the mission timer trigger breaker in. Okay, we're gonna probably need numeric flighty. There you go. You got it. Uh, Aquarius yeah, Houston, yeah. I think we got a better way of uh, getting your mission time up. Okay, we can do a verb 55 enter and then put an R1 minus 00088 and R2 minus 00059er R3 minus 03274 Watch your crap and attitude. We're okay. God damn, I wish you'd get to something I know. <laughs> well, as soon as we get over here, we'll stop it with the TTCA. Okay. And, uh, Aquarius Houston, uh, we've got you both on box. Like to go what? You want us on box, Jack? Uh, we have you on Vox. Uh, we're reading you loud and clear, and uh, the clock took good. Okay, looks like we're on the uh, SBA route there, Jack. No strange thing, there seems to be a bad patch up ahead. Or I don't think that's a lake, is there? But uh, yep, okay, some suspicious yeah, Jack, areas up ahead. Now. Odd since the court, scenery right? has been pretty good so far and consistent. More okay. or less seamless. Yeah, 
And Aquarius, uh, we're ready for a verb 74 when you can give it to us. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe it is water. Okay, good. It just looked a little bit odd. It looked like it was it. on the hillside, okay, but that was just an uh, uh, optical One illusion. other thing we noticed when you pressurize the RCS, uh, we got an increase in pressure in the S and tanks, and uh, so we'd want to have you verify that the SN feeds are closed. In order to do that, on uh, panel 11, close uh, SN feed 1 and 2 circuit breakers. On, uh, and cycle the Parker valves, and then open the SN feed circuit breakers on panel 11. Okay, Jim, thank you. And, uh, Jack Aquarius, uh, what kind of return time does this uh, maneuver give us? That puts you uh, back in the water at uh, 133 hours. 133, eh? Firm. And uh, that's an Atlantic landing site. Atlantic uh, landing? Affirmative. Uh, that's the pad that uh, we've given you, but... Uh, we may change our mind uh, later on. We want you to have this info for now. And that's a minimum Okay. Minimum time return. Aquarius Houston, uh, we've got to uh, change the rest mat to the one to which you're aligned, so we'd like to have uh, Pooh and Data and we'll ship that up to you. Roger. Okay, you got it, Jack. Roger, coming up. Aquarius, uh, could you give us data, please? Okay, uh, you got it. The up data link, uh, the DUA breaker may not be in, Jack. Okay, Fred, close the DUA breaker. It's in, uh, Jack. Okay, Jim, and it's coming up now. Thank you. Okay, our destination is RKPK, Game High International. I do not know how to pronounce that, uh, but there we are. Aquarius Houston, we're finished with the uplink. So the computer is yours. We'd like to uh, power, power down the DUA, so uh, pull the DUA circuit breaker, please. Okay, up that link breaker, coming open. Aquarius Houston, uh, we'd like to have aft Omni, and we're going to uh, lose contact with you for about a minute here while we try to establish tracking. And our latest data shows that uh, your closest approach to the moon is going to be 60 miles per G over. Pretty close. Okay, closest approach 60 miles, and I'm sitting on But they said perigee. I'm confused. Roger, uh, we'll probably be going off the air here for about a minute. Guessing they meant Paraloon, or yeah, am I misreading right. what they meant? Go ahead, Aquarius. Okay, we're thinking about rigging up the uh, urine dump to the uh, side hatch. 
been thinking about ringing up the urine dump to the site ads to save uh, the urine heater power. What do you think? Stand by one. Or uh, better still, so we can uh, won't freeze up our urine dump. Roger, that sounds like a good plan. Uh, Jim, why don't you go ahead with that one? Okay, Aquarius, and uh, down here we're uh, getting regrouped, uh, trying to work on your control modes and uh, trying to set up something for PTC and uh, taking a look at consumables as opposed to flight plan and so forth. And as soon as we get all that information, uh, we'll pass it up to you. We also have uh, the 14 backup crew over the simulators uh, looking at uh, Doc Burns and also trying to uh, see what kind of alignment procedures they can come up with for uh, looking at stars out the window. So if you ever uh, are able to see any stars out there and think you can do an alignment out the window, why, let us know. Yeah, PTC to passive thermal control okay, Jack, sounds right like now, it might be a pain. Not able to, the sunlight reflected off the thrusters uh, and whatever debris came away uh, at the time of the uh, mishap uh, is still with us, but that uh, stars are hard to find. And uh, why, uh, what respect you want us to do the uh, stars out the window just to check the uh, LMS uh, run? Is that correct? That's a firm. We like to uh, correlate uh, what information we get with yours uh, so that if we can uh, use it to update the platform, we can. They've got a cloud of debris messing up their view, and that cloud of debris is hanging out with them, more or less. Uh, what we're really trying to do, uh, Jim, is see if we can uh, do a coas align so we can uh, power down the platform. There's a whole lot more static that I cut out, by the way. I'm cutting out uh, silences in large static portions. This is an interesting bit of static. Just an interesting sound they got there. How do you read now, Aquarius? So here we go, Busan and uh, the airport there. Well, we'll get another chance to see it on the way out, so I'll descend. Aquarius Houston radio check. Yeah, unlike in previous missions, I mean, even in previous missions, lacking radio contact with the mission was probably a little bit nerve-wracking, but especially in this case. Okay, Jack, how are you right now? Okay, hearing you five square now, Jim. And the question we have is, uh, is there some way you can uh, orient the spacecraft so that the service module is between the... Uh, lamb in the sun so you can recognize constellations out the window and secondly uh, can you see anything out the AOT this is Apollo control 59 hours 51 minutes ground elapsed time Continuing to stand by as we uh, go through momentary uh, loss of communications as the uh, 
antennas and uh, the spacecraft attitude drift uh, past the uh, point at which the ground tracking stations can receive from the spacecraft antennas to back up and recap the earlier maneuver pad or information regarding a descent propulsion system abort for a minimum return time. This maneuver, should it be done, would come at 79 hours, 25 minutes, 26 seconds ground elapsed time at an altitude above the moon at 205 nautical miles. The maneuver would be uh, 1,797.7 feet per second positive rate, a burn time of 8 minutes, 35 seconds would produce entry interface at about uh, 133 hours ground elapsed time. Apollo 13 is now 185,455 nautical miles out from Earth. Velocity showing on the display here in mission control, 3,118 feet per second. I think we might be going too fast still. Spacecraft crew uh, aboard yeah. Aquarius and Odyssey. They really wasn't able to do autogen for some reason. Powering down, carefully husbanding all of the consumables aboard the spacecraft. We're continuing to stand by at 59 hours, 53 minutes ground elapsed time. This is Apollo Control. Aquarius Houston, how do you read? Aquarius, request forward Omni, please. Interesting, the tower is really Aquarius far back Houston, there. Uh, request forward on me. How do you is that read? supposed to be the tower? Okay, uh, Houston, Aquarius, how do you read? Hello there, Aquarius, loud and clear. Uh, how do you read me? Okay, we got a lot of background uh, static. Uh, Is there like a wall at the end of that runway? Uh, well, I'm looking uh, at What there. we tried to do was to uh, get the IU frequency shifted off a little bit so as we'd have less interference. I think it'll come up. Uh, what we want you to do is uh, turn on your descent oxygen, turn off your ascent oxygen, over. And request forward Omni. Uh, you're unreadable, Jack. Uh, we got a signal shift meter uh, right now. It keeps wavering up and down. The best I'm getting is about 2.4 AGC. Roger. Request forward, Omni. Uh, I am on forward, Omni. I've been on forward, Omni. Jack. I'm hearing you five square, Fred. How many? Aquarius Houston, how do you read? Aquarius Houston, radio check. Every time you uh, transmit, Jack, uh, the AGC uh, starts to drop off and the static uh, level uh, cranks up. Okay, Fred, you're loud and clear. I wish you were. <laughs> uh huh, yeah. Fred, go to descent 02. Descent 02, Roger. Hello, 
Houston, uh, Aquarius. Hello there, Aquarius. How do you read me now? Peter down. Hello, Houston, Aquarius. Aquarius, Houston, go. Okay, that's the first clear word we heard from you, Jack. Uh, you think it could be my pitch attitude that's uh, breaking up uh, your incoming? I guess you've been hearing us. We have been hearing you, and the problem is on the ground. Uh, I hope we have it uh, corrected now. Okay, that sounds good. We're considering uh, powering down the uh, pings, but we want to know uh, what capability you have to uh, do a course and final line. And uh, we read your conversation about being unable to uh, see out the window. Very good. Uh, how about out, out the AOT? I did it a little bit too tight here. Maybe you'll be all right. Hey, he's uh, looking now. Okay, and the other thing uh, we thought you might try is to uh, put the service module between you and the sun and uh, then to see if you can see anything out the window in uh, that attitude. The reason uh, we think that that would work as it worked oh, on all ten, it uh, made the -like constellations on this side uh, too. all recognizable when we put the service module, uh, in our case, a limb between us and the sun. Half time, you Fred. Uh, you're down in the mud again, Jack, and it appears that uh, some other circuit is uh, feeding through on there with you. Roger, aft Omni. Okay. And we have touched this down. This is Apollo Control. John Young uh, sitting in at the Capcom console with Jack Lausma, giving the benefit of his experience in Apollo 10. Yeah, Jack Lausma. Lausma. That's the other Jack. That's the uh, Capcom. There we go. Okay, you're down in the uh, mud again. I think Jack. he would fly on uh, Skylab. I forget. Half time, the Aquarius. So yeah, two Jacks. Very complicated. Houston. Okay, so having arrived in Busan, next time we will fly to Nagasaki Aquarius in Japan in F4U1. But for now, I'll just try and park it here and pause the audio. And I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.